Hey guys, Bevisons here doing another tutorial. I figured I'd, uh, I was just fooling around. I was listening to a couple weird songs, like night, some Nightcore songs. And for you, those of you who don't know, Nightcore is basically a song that's pitched upwards and sped up a bit. Uh, it, well, when you speed it up, it can ruin the bass. But there's actually an few people who know what they're at, and it sounds fucking awesome. But I was just, uh, fucking around, and I made a cool square lead. I figured I'd, uh... Show you guys how to make it. Uh, just a quick sample. I put together a little quick project here. Just a pattern. I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Here you go. Alright, and that was the uh, lead bass and shit. If you guys want to know how to do the bass, I'll show that too right quick. Just, you know, it's not, it's not much. And it's just a punch sample, pretty much, right here. From uh, It's a sub-punch from Vengeance Essentials Pack 1. And just simple... And I just tuned up the snare. That's pretty much it. It's just FL Studio sample shit. So, uh, right quick, I'll just show you the melody of the lead. So you can get how I made all the sounds. Now, as you can tell, it's very high pitched, and right here, you get that really nice wobble sound that I. <laughs> personally, I fucking love it. No idea why. But that's just quick something I made. It's, uh, it's a four step melody. So, yeah, anyway, let's get into how I made the lead. Okay, right off the bat, turn these two down, because you don't need them at all. Trust me. I'll turn them up to about halfway each and well I had them at uh, like what 10 and 50 and you get this down now you can you, like you can do it if you think it sounds cool this is just a guideline like that's at uh, synth by the way sorry I forgot one second I'll actually show you what it sounds like without that crap I hit sine wave I meant to do square Now, it does sound cool, I admit, but I just prefer the uh, raw sound. It just sounds a lot better to me. So, for this, you don't need any external plugins whatsoever. You're perfect just the way you are with FL Studio. Um, yeah, this stuff comes with everything, including 3X Oscillator, unless you're an idiot and have never played with this before, or you're a noob. In that case, welcome! <laughs> Alright, so first thing, I'll just show you what it sounds like without any tampering. That's pretty much what it sounds like. Now you're getting a lot of room and effect with it. You just actually feel the presence of it with uh, a couple things I've done. Now, Fruity Delay 2 is the first thing you're going to want to put in. I have a paramedic, eh, parametric equalizer, but I realize it works much better with just sound goodizer. Doesn't make much of a difference anyway. So anyway, right, right off the bat, what you want to do is open up Fruity Delay 2, set it to ping pong, and you're done. <laughs> Just turn down the volume to approximately, I had it like 15. And you get that delay sound without it being too overpowering. And it's pretty easy. It's quick. Uh, it's a quick delay tool. You know, that's all it is. Next up, reverb. Now, I have a setting called house reverb right here. I made that one myself. You can save presets. So like uh, this, if I wanted to, I can just go to save preset as and it'll load up next time I check the presets. So uh, I'll just leave this open real quick. And uh, you can pause the video, whatever, and just copy this out if you really want that exact sound. So, alright, last but not least is Fruity Phaser. Now, I have it set to uh, Stereo Enhance 2. And I got it turned down to approximately 27. Now, I'll just show you what it sounds like without it. And with. And you just get that wobble sound. That just sounds pretty damn sweet, if you ask me. 
Now, just to add some power to the uh, upper synth, I got uh, A. It's pretty much just sound good eyes are straight off the bat. You don't really have to fuck with it. And I'll just toss open a uh, paramedic equalizer just to show you parametric, sorry. Now, I'll show you uh, with and without of uh, fruity sound good eyes are. Now, as you can tell, that really just brightens up the sound, and it really sounds nice if you have to ask me. It adds, uh, it just gives it a little more power. And it doesn't do it in such a way that it rips your speakers apart or adds a lot of bite. And just to reiterate for people who don't watch my videos often, bite is like up here. But there, it doesn't add an over amount, so you don't get a sharp mosquito noise ish type thing. Now, I mentioned earlier on I was just going to show off the bass right quick, so uh, it's nothing special, it's something quick. I don't even know what it sounds like. I'm using laptop speakers for fuck's sake. So, uh,. Sorry for the non pg ness of this tutorial. Uh, yeah, so just here's the bass real quick. So as you can tell, it's just four notes used uh, twice, well, four times each, but the pattern's used twice throughout the course of the melody, and that gives the bass line. Uh, just two solitude, or two triangles, sorry, I don't even know the proper name for that shit. All I know is it's, you know, just triangle shape, so I'll call them triangles. And you put these to minus 12, you don't have to, you can just set them to uh, zero and then just up this to negative seven. But you really get the sound. I just had it set so that these two are at 50%, more or less. These two are turned down to 12, and this one's down 24 semitones. So these two are down by one octave, and this one is, and this one down here is down by two. You just set it here and turn these up by that, and set this one to one semitone, and you get the exact same tone. So for the other those of you who don't know, you just right click on an octave or a note, any note really. So I can click here and get different sounds. But right click on a core note like C7, C8, C9, and that just, if you go further up, it gives you a lower sound. Go down and gives you a higher sound. So that's, that's that right quick. Uh, if you hold left click, that just shows the what notes it will play. So if I hold this, nothing will play because it's not like the notes placed are not within the uh, octave that I've given it no okay, go away no go away eh one sec meh eh okay it stopped following me What have I done? Oh no! Meh, that works. Whatever. Anyway, you got the basics here. And this oscillator is being a douchebag. FL Studio is being a douchebag. Okay, I'll be right back. Everything's being a douchebag. I had him back to fix the problem. I had to get a fucking mouse because my trackpad crapped out. Jesus. Anyway, back to where we were. I'll show you how to make the bass real quick. Okay, nothing changed while I was away. I got a mini thing down here that boosts the upper frequency and the lower and downs the mid-ranges a bit, which... Well, no, it doesn't It doesn't touch the mid-ranges because they're already boosted with this P-metric... Uh, parametric equalizer. Jesus, P-metric? Fuck. After that, it's a quick uh, uh, sausage fattener, just to uh, give it its weight. A compressor to low anything that goes over the edge. Another equalizer, just to tune up the sound a little bit, give it the uh, kind of sound I actually want. Without it clipping. And a quick reverb. It's just the house reverb, but tuned a bit. Oh, go away. 
So you can copy these settings down if you want the base. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my tutorial. That sounded gay as fuck. Anyway, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.